Hey everybody, John King with Summit Funding, and here is my weekly market updates. We have definitely seen interest rates moving up over the last couple of weeks. And if you haven't been paying attention, they're back at the higher end of the range of what we've been seeing. So to give you a bit brief recap, back in June, we kind of saw the peak. And then late June, July, early August, we saw interest rates start coming back down and they've been shooting back up. Now, the good news is we haven't hit that peak that we saw in June, and that's a really, really good sign. Why is this happening? Well, the market's reacting to the Fed, and the Fed is talking out of both sides of their mouth. And I expected that. I've been telling you, I expect volatility. I expect a lot of ups and downs. I think we're going to see higher inflation numbers over the next couple of months. I think that's going to have the Fed scared, and the Fed is making it clear we are going to continue to increase short-term interest rates. But that's the key term short-term interest rates. I'm going to remind you the Fed does not control mortgage rates. The Fed controls the rates on your home equity line of credit, on your credit cards, maybe on your, your car loan when you're taking out a new car loan. What's driving up mortgage rates is inflation. And the Fed raising the short-term rate is designed to slow down the economy, to stop people from spending money on their credit cards, stop companies from investing into new developments, and that's going to stop the demand for goods, which should decrease inflation. But the problem is that it's going to throw us into a recession. I still firmly believe that we are, we might even be in a recession right now. Next Friday, I'm actually going to be doing a live stream for an hour talking about this stuff in depth, talking about the markets and what's happening and what the Fed is doing and why, all of these things. So what I want to tell you today is we're still in a good place. If you have a lot of credit card debt or you know somebody that has a lot of credit card debt, you may want to think about consolidating that debt. As a matter of fact, I just did an hour long live stream about credit cards and how they work. You know, somebody that doesn't understand how credit works and specifically the ins and outs of credit cards, share that video with them. Aside from that, just know that this is an amazing time to buy a home. The key is, are you making the right decision for the right reason? So talk to me if you have questions about that, but I'll tell you the two big pieces of P two big categories of people continue to be people with low down payments and people with a house to sell. Those two categories of people had a hard time getting offers accepted over the last couple of years. They're now in a better place to compete and we're going to see more price reductions. We're seeing sellers willing to pay closing costs. So if you don't have a lot of money for closing costs, you can use the seller credit to pay for closing costs. But most importantly, you can use a seller credit to buy down your interest rates. And I have a, a video, I'll link it down below, about temporary buy downs and how they work. They're still an amazing tool because if you believe, like I do, that interest rates are gonna drop in the next couple of years, a temporary rate buy down gives you the benefit of a lower interest rate and in payment today, while also giving you this peace of mind and security that it's a fixed rate, that you don't have to worry about the rate skyrocketing later. So reach out to me if you have questions about that. I appreciate you listening to me and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. Bye-bye.